Well, greetings and salutations. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. Uh, listen, you know, before you uh, send me the explication request, you might, when in our Reddit community, put tips and you will see all kinds of previous videos and answers about tips come up. Or if you're on the YouTube channel, you might want to put in tips in the search bar and it will probably come up as well. So, you know, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm uh, repeating myself on some of these questions. It's also a sign that you haven't uh, looked at the questions that already have been explicated on these topics on the YouTube channel. Oh, well, so now that I'm done bitching, let's go over this question. This is a Treasury Inflation Protected Security. It has five years to maturity. Inflation is 4% for the five-year life. It doesn't matter what the coupon is because it says, what is the redemption value? Now, I'm going to show you a tip for trick or trick for tips or tips for trick. <laughs> Give me a tip. You know, before you start doing any kind of a math, you might want to think, gee, Dean kind of promised me there wouldn't be any higher end math. You know, this adjustment I would know is going to be made semi-annually. So the U.S. Treasury says we will adjust semi-annually the principal the U.S. Treasury owes you for inflation. So that means this 4% adjustment is going to be made semi-annually. That would be 2%. Now, if you want to do the long method, which you're not is not necessary, and that's why in this particular question, nobody showed you the math. I'm going to show you the math, but it isn't necessary, and I'll tell you at the end why it's not necessary. Okay, let's see. i got to get out my annotation tool. Where is my annotation tool? There it is. All right, so... It compounds, so 102%, right? 2% is the inflation rate. The judge of Treasury is going to adjust this semi-annually, so that's going to be half of whatever the inflation rate is. So 1,000 by uh, times 102%, the first adjustment is 1,020. Basically, since it's five years, and we're doing this twice a year, it's going to be 10 times the adjustment will be made. So then 1,020 times 102%, that's the end of year one. Year 2040, 40 times 102%. And then again, times 102%. That's year two. Then we do it twice again. That's year three. We do it year four twice more. And then finally, in year five, you can see through the compounding that the answer here is $1,219. Now, again, as I said, you don't have to do that math because what you could have done, and this is what I suggest you do, and that's what they're thinking you should do is look at this and say, okay, well, if inflation over the life has been 20%, that's $200. So that means that the adjustment is somewhere north of $1,200 because of the compounding. So I need to look at my answer set and there will only be one answer that is over $1,200. And this answer set, choice A is $1,000. That's a real bad miss. Choice B is 1,051. No, it's got to be something over $1,200. Choice C, $1,219. Ding, 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 ding. Now, by the way, that's the only one that's over $1,200, right? Well, I take that back. There's a choice D, which is 1445. So again, all you need to do is round to the 1,200 and then say, I'm taking the next one above that. That's how I would suggest as a test taker, you attack these uh, tips uh, questions. Uh, suitability. These are good for somebody who wants to keep pace with inflation. And this could be found on your Series 7. This can be found on your 65 and your 66. So I will put it in the appropriate playlist. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch. Yard by yard, your exam is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request. Before you make the request, please look in the YouTube channel under practice questions to see if there isn't already a question very similar to the one you're asking. In this case, there is. Or if you're a member of our Reddit communities, R series seven, R66, same thing in the search bar, just had somebody yesterday uh, ask about super voting shares and somebody clipped an article, they could have put super voting shares in the search bar and five or six different discussions would have come up about super voting or what the test issue is. So anyways, uh, I'll see you for the next explication request. Bye-bye.